been doing uh, research on substance use and harm reduction for 10 years. And my initial interest um, came really from just seeing how people are connecting to each other while using substances. And that has always been something that we were told about, um, it's gonna destroy communities and so on. But in my case, in my perception, it was building communities. I came up with a very interesting study with my um, German colleagues who were psychiatrists uh, to look at ethical, legal and social implications of psychedelics used in psychotherapy. And at that time I was at the end of my PhD and I was not quite ready to have like a full grant and we didn't get it. But it was an interesting learning experience and for that I basically consulted the whole literature so I was aware what's out there and I already knew that it's very promising learning from people who had this experience. I was very excited to listen and learn. I, I, I understood that uh, drug set and setting are really important when it comes to uh, using a psychedelic drug. So you want to be in the right mindset and in the right place, you want to be in a safe space. Over the past five or six years that I've been uh, running Global Drug Survey with Adam Winstock, who's the founder of the survey, we've really seen that um, the use of psilocybin is the safest compared to other substances when we look at emergency medical treatment following the use of certain substances. So psychedelics are relatively safe. We know that from the study from NOT et al. But we also see it in the Global Drug Survey that these are really the substances that are caused the least acute harm to people who use it. And we asked 10,000 of people who have used the substance last year. So the movement around whether to decriminalize uh, plant-based medicines and how to regulate it, it doesn't belong to one single person or organization, it belongs to everyone. Everyone should be on the table when we discuss these issues and especially indigenous people, people of color and black people who have never been part of the discussion so far and who are not uh, represented in the research studies either. They need to be brought in and invited to come and speak and share their expertise. It's about community. They have their communities and they should be part of it as well. We need to, in our everyday lives, make sure that no one is left behind, that we are talking to people, that we are including them. And of course, we may not have the capacity emotionally or physically or otherwise to include everyone at the same time. We can be there for others. We can support others. It doesn't cost any money. It's just about being there for someone and it's not about like lifting up the psychedelic experiences. It's not like a magic or a silver bullet. It's like really the whole context around it and the uh, integration of such an experience that can be so transformational for so many people. And that's what we're doing research about. You can make every moment beautiful, especially when you can share it with other people and making other people happy, like altruism, is really something that makes us happy.